two dollars. Two dollars, yeah. And y'all include the socks. <laughs> what a bargain. What a bargain. Hi, good morning. Want a bowling ball? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I want yet today. <laughs> I'll know when I see it. I gotta say, I know I want more sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you guys start setting up? About 6.15. Did a lot of people show up early? Not much. I mean, they've been kind of steady. Yeah. So I'm just strolling around the yard sale to see if anything catches my attention. There are a bunch of books and magazines on this table, which I usually don't buy, but I always do take a look. So I'm just going to continue to move on. And what does catch my attention are these boots right here. Boots, for the most part, I always check them out to see what brand they are, especially if they're in pretty good condition. You'll see here these boots are $2, and I'm going to flip around so you can see what kind of boots they were. So these are Red Wing boots. I've never actually seen these out in the wild, but I know that they do extremely well and they resell for pretty good value. So I end up grabbing them and I'm just going to do one final loop before I go to the seller at the yard sale, the person hosting the yard sale. And I decide not to negotiate. $2 is a very reasonable price for these boots. So I'm going to pay the 2 bucks and then move on to the next yard sale. I'll just take these boots. Okay. Oh yeah, two dollars. Two dollars, yeah. And y'all include the socks. <laughs> what a bargain. What a bargain. Yeah. I know they look almost brand new, but we won't for these. Yeah, if I just oh, scrub mother. it down once, I think yeah. that'll look pretty mother, nice. Yeah. We're the same size. Change for a five. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah, those are pretty nice then. Yeah. So, but, but those were our good boots. I mean, yeah. we only wore those when it wasn't really yucky outside. Hello. Hi, good morning. Woo. You need a drill press, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I want today. <laughs> I'm about to find out. <laughs> I think you need a drill press. So I've always been bad at small talk and had absolutely no idea how to reply to that. So let me know how would you have responded to that. But outside of that, the prices at this garage sale were a little too high to make any money. So I just kind of looked through a few things and decided to move on. If the prices are this high, it's usually too hard to even negotiate without offending the people hosting the yard sale. So. I just look through the rest of this table and then move on to the next yard sale. Hello, welcome. This yard sale, it almost seemed like this family used to have a small boutique store or like a small retail clothing store. And this is just kind of what they're left over with. They had like real nice clothing racks and inside their garage they had boxes and boxes of clothes. Alright, I feel welcome. I mean, that thing was probably part of their retail store as well. And looking through these hats, they had $15 price tags on them, which I'm about to ask in a bit. Are these the prices that you put on? No, it's not the right price. Oh, okay. How much are you selling the hats for? So it's going to be $8. And this one's going to be $8. Okay. My question to everyone is, if you drive up to a yard sale and it looks something like this, do you even bother walking up? I think personally, after today, if I see something like this when I'm driving up, I probably won't even bother and I'll just move on to the next yard sale on my list. How much are you selling these for? How much is that? Just two dollars. Two dollars a piece? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Can we do five dollars for those three? And then a okay. dollar for these? Okay. okay. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Everything is size for sale too? Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, the ping pop table is, is for sale also. Okay. <laughs> and 
as I'm looking around, if you see something that you'd have picked up that I didn't, definitely let me know. That only helped me learn about a certain category that you might know about. I actually end up picking up this Minnie Mouse mug. I've sold the same exact mug before for I think like $35. I didn't even look up comps again, but I decided to grab it. Hi. Would you guys take two bucks for this? Sure. For these two? All right, pick these up for two bucks. Should be able to make pretty good money here. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's no, no, that's no, I thought you had that for sale. That's for the real estate agent in this house. That's how she advertised. She got them little snacks with her business cards on there. That's how she So I've spent about 11 bucks so far today and the past like five or six sales that I've been to have been complete busts. I don't know if you guys caught that right behind me but it's been like one small table and not really too much to go off of. So hopefully I'm just going to keep pushing forward and hopefully I have some better luck moving forward. Hi, good morning. Yeah, you're in the shade though, so you might. <laughs> this is the type of day you wish was kind of a little overcast, but no rain. Yeah, yeah, it's a little cloud cover just yeah. to get that sun out of our eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you do two for a dollar? Sure. I appreciate it. I've decided to leave that area. Just. I drove by a bunch, I mean they were just extremely small sales, like one small table or pretty much almost nothing really. So I'm going to drive a little bit and go to another area and see if I can test my luck over there. Yeah, if you have video games that'd be... Yeah, I've got um, some left. Somebody just bought a hundred dollars worth. Oh, you're too late! <laughs> Oh really? So wow. this is what's left. Okay. Already you look like a player, that's why I thought. <laughs> Here, let's uh, set it. Yeah. Uh, right over on this table. Okay. Awesome. How low are you willing to go on these? They're, these are ten dollars each. Oh, I'm sorry. That one's fifteen. Yeah. The rest are ten. Okay. My son priced them. Some of them are five. Yeah, that's just. It's a variety. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. So I snagged these cycling shoes. The price tag says four on them, but as you can see in that sign, everything was yeah. half off here. This sale was interesting. It was like a huge consignment yard sale. Every single item had a tag and it had a name or, oh look, I'm trying to be sneaky with my GoPro. But as I was saying, every item had a tag with a name and a price so they were really not down to negotiate any lower than what was already on the price tag and since it was 50 percent off you know i just kind of picked through and grabbed what i wanted and the prices were okay so you know 50 percent off the original price tag i was okay with that but just looking around once again if you see something that i might have missed that you probably would have grabbed then definitely let me know but yeah, so far I have those cycling shoes and yeah, I'll keep looking around. They had a lot of electronics. So electronics were a little overpriced, I'll, I'll say that. So most of the electronics that I looked up, you know, there just wasn't enough profit to be made. But yeah, this was a huge sale and there just was a lot of stuff to look through. They had a corner dedicated to shoes. I saw a bunch of Brooks 
priced at four, so I would have paid two. Unfortunately, this one, when you look at the bottom, there's like a huge chunk that's just missing. So not in good condition at all. These pairs I did end up picking up. These are in pretty good condition. And then there's a third pair that I looked at and those were just a little dirty and a little worn out on the edges and I just didn't want to deal with that. So picked up one pair of Brooks. So, so far I have the cycling shoes and then those red and black Brooks. But yeah, just looking around the edges, I decided to put this pair of Brooks back, the blue ones, and then I checked these one final time and I decided to grab them. This JVC combo unit might have been a big score, but as you can see, as you saw, the, the cover for the DVD side was missing. This Samsung camcorder over here, it was priced at 30 so I would have paid 15 I actually do end up picking this up. I come back for it and grab it. You'll see later in the clip. But, yeah, I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Alright, back home now. I'm going to show you guys everything I picked up. Just do a little recap. I'm going to bring everything to the back and then I'll show you everything at once. Alright, we'll just grab them as we go. Grab the pair of Brooks running shoes. These were in pretty good condition. They had a few other pairs, but the other two pairs, they either had like huge holes or the tread was like falling apart. But picked this up for two bucks. At the same sale, I picked up these cycling shoes. When I looked up comps from what I remember, I think I saw sold comps for like 40, 45 bucks. So these are cycling shoes. Pay two bucks for these. All right, I couldn't get footage of this sale, but I picked up this PC video game. It's a twin pack of Sonic and Sonic and Knuckles. And I saw a few sold comps. I think it was $30. It was either 20 or 30, but I picked this up for a dollar, so definitely worth it. I picked this up and this mug. So this is a Minnie Mouse. I actually sold the same exact mug before and I think I sold it for like $35, $40 uh, with the buyer paying shipping. And this is in pretty good condition, I'd say excellent condition. This and this right here, this Craftsman Premium uh, Control, I saw sold comps, I think it was like $20, $25 maybe, but pick both of these up for two bucks. Pretty good pickups here. Next two items, I got two DVDs, a Blu-ray and then this WF Funniest Moments DVD. This sale, they're doing DVDs for a dollar, so what I really wanted was this Minions one. This is brand new sealed, so it'll be super easy to list and I mean, for a dollar, I would have still made money, but I bundled it two for one, got these two for a dollar. So I got these Revel cars, they're like little model cars. Pick this one up, an Acura Integra Type R, a Volkswagen New Beetle, and then this Quadzilla Ford Monster Truck. I only looked this one up, this one was selling for I think it was like $25, $30, but I saw this one so I knew I wanted to kind of bundle everything together. Saw that, and then these two car repair manuals so I picked these two this one right here and then these two manuals for five bucks I picked up a Samsung camcorder this one is Samsung SCL 700 high 8 I picked this up for 15 bucks it has all the wires it came with the bag I paid $15 for this everything at this sale this is the same sale with the Brooks running shoes everything was half off and since it was a consignment sale they weren't really open to negotiations but $15 I saw sold comps for around 60 with the buyer paying shipping so definitely still worth it I'll need to test it hopefully it works but I'll still make money off it nonetheless this disc manager not a crazy buy here I picked this up for two dollars and I should be able to sell it for around 20 
This is one of my favorite finds. I've never found Red Wing boots before, but I paid two bucks for this. And they're in excellent condition, I think. I mean, there's definitely dirt on the bottom, but I can just wipe it down and, you know, pretty good condition here. I'll need to look up exactly what these are worth, but I know Red Wing does really well. So happy about this find. All right, last few things here, this clock. You can see that it's working. I mean, you can see it ticking along. Picked everything up here for three bucks. This, I think I saw sold comps for like 20 or 25. I'll put it up on the screen. I don't remember exactly. Bought this pencil sharpener and Panasonic. I looked up the model number and I think it was selling for like $20 free shipping. And it'll probably cost me like eight, nine bucks to ship it. So nothing crazy, but I mean, I bundled everything together. So figured I'd pick it up. Got these two nutcrackers. These are like little army guys. I have no idea what these are worth, but I just thought they were cool. So decided to pick these up as well. All right, let me grab all of this. And that's gonna about do it for today's video. If you guys saw anything that I missed, which I probably did, definitely leave it down in the comment section below. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time, bye.